that's an industry term for numbers that don't have any description or explanation as to what they are or why they exist. And you also have a lot of true or false, which is not descriptive at all. When you look at any function call as another developer, you should understand what's going on without needing to read through the implementation of the actual method itself. So part type sprite, part type size, I don't need to read through that to understand what's being passed to it and what it's doing. But that's not what's going on here. I shouldn't need to ask myself, what is this number one? What is the zero? What does it signify, right? Imagine we have a car object and I create the car object by passing in 96, four, false, false. Do you have any idea about what those numbers mean? I do not know. How am I initializing that car? You don't. A step above that, a better alternative would be to specify in words what 96 means. For example, unsigned 32-bit integer horsepower equals 96. Number of doors equals four. Is automatic equals false. Is electric equals false. And then pass that into the construction of car. That is the bare minimum. That's what I would expect out of an intern that's fresh out of school. Taking that a step further, you can implement a concept called strong typing which is the most expressive form of instantiation. What we can do in that case is define an alias at the bare minimum or a class, and we can call it horsepower. And then we can create an enumeration for things like transmission or fuel. And then we alter the car's constructor and pass in that information, horsepower 98, door number four, transmission automatic, fuel, gasoline. You don't need to be a game developer to know that that's a lot more maintainable than whatever Thor has here.